So the next thing we want to do is we want to implement um, GitHub CI CD uh, workflows. And in order for us to be able to do that, and or uh, some of the steps we're going to be taking in order for us to be implementing that, is we're going to also incorporate into these CI CD uh, workflows the creation of our infrastructure to host our Node.js Express application. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call this folder DevOps. And I'm then going to, within this DevOps folder, I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call it Dev. Now you might want to kind of follow this uh, structure. You may not. So for example, I'm going to create another folder called Production or Prod for Production and another folder called UAT for staging and or UAT if you prefer to call it UAT. So within my dev folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this file a main dot um, dev dot bicep. And I'm going to create another new file and I'm going to call it main dot dev dot bicep param, which will be all the parameters for my bicep template. Uh, and in here we're going to do a using main.dev.bicep and we're going to go ahead and we're going to push these changes to our repository uh, added bicep template files so now we've pushed those files and we've got those provisional files in place uh, those files obviously will need to be used by something so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create another folder and we're going to call this folder github and inside of that folder we're going to create another folder we're going to call it workflows and this is where uh, github will look um, to for our um, kind of workflows which is quite self-explanatory and what we're going to do is we're going to say my node.js express app and we'll call it hyphen build hyphen deploy hyphen release dot yaml so to make this tutorial easy to follow what i have done is i've already created uh, an example template file uh, which we will go ahead and copy you can also copy this um, template file from this repository which i've made public we can go into github workflows click into the um, similarly named um, workflow and i'm just going to go ahead and copy this i'll then paste this into my workflow and we'll just get rid of this comment up here and i'm just going to rename this and say build or deploy infrastructure and build release node js application uh, so you can change, of course, the uh, branch which it will uh, kind of be triggered on. We're going to leave main for this example. Uh, you can also rename this job. We've called it infrastructure here. Uh, and then we've also said that this runner should use a Linux Ubuntu image. Uh, and then various steps here taking place, one of which is to set up the Azure CLI. Uh, so we've got an Azure uh, a GitHub secret here, which we'll have to create. Uh, which is for the Azure credentials, which will be used to deploy the infrastructure into GitHub, into Azure, sorry. The other thing we've got is we've got a step here to then deploy uh, the um, infrastructure using our bicep template and our bicep, bicep parameter file. Again, we will have to obviously populate the resources within these uh, bicep um, files. Uh, we've also got a variable called uh, we've got the resource group within a variable you can hard code this but for this example we are going to create variables and we've also got an Azure subscription um, ID uh, which we're passing in and that will be so that if we did have or in case we had multiple subscriptions this will set the subscription to which you want to deploy into uh, so we'll go ahead and create that as well so let's get rid of this these comments uh, which I've put to kind of help anybody who does copy those um, workflows from the old public repository I've created. So again, we'll just take this comment out. And ours, uh, this this convention will, will also obviously be different to you if you have chosen different folder structure. So we have chosen to go into the DevOps folder 
and or create our templates within the DevOps folder forward slash or folder, uh, which is the environment for us. This is development. And we're also going to change this into dev as well. So we're saying go into the DevOps folder, go into the dev uh, environment, uh, and we're also saying obtain the bicep files for those um, for, for that specific environment. So we'll go ahead and save this. We'll head over to our DevOps folder. We'll go into our uh, main.dev.bicep uh, template file. We'll go ahead and head back to this repository, go into the dev folder here, and we'll go ahead and copy the example that we've got here. And I'm gonna paste that in here. Get rid of the white space. Get rid of these comments. So as you can see here, we have four parameters. Uh, one is location, the SKU that we're going to use, the service plan, uh, or the name of the service plan rather, and we also got the name of the app service, which we've also uh, put into a parameter. Um, so these are, um, these are of course, components which you can use. I would recommend you installing the Azure Bicep extension, which will give you some intelligence when you are creating Bicep templates. Uh, and our resources and it will allow you to or give you some kind of suggestions so if you were to for example put skew um, uh, or if we put skew inside of properties for example it will then advise us that the property skew is not allowed on objects of app service and properties so it's basically telling us we can't put skew inside of the properties uh, object uh, which is quite useful. So just to quickly go through this, so we're safe naming the uh, service plan uh, based on what we provide in the parameter. We're also setting the location to what again, what we define in our parameter location. We're also setting this um, SKU to the SKU we define again within the parameter. And these properties here will basically force the app service plan to become a Linux app service plan. If you omit this properties reserved true object, then what will happen is you, your app service plan will be a Windows service plan. So you can omit this, but we'll, for this example, we are going to um, apply these settings so that we 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 enforce this uh, service plan to become a Linux service plan. Uh, the next thing we do is we define another resource, which is our app service. Um, and basically what we're saying is this app service will be of from this this service plan that we define here uh, and we also again set in location to UK South and we may ensure in our enforcing HTTPS on this app service uh, and we also set a couple of site configurations which is first and foremost we're setting the Node.js version to 18 and we're also setting this app setting here, which is the website run from package. I have in the past had issues whereby when we omit this app setting, uh, then it does kind of hang on the deployment of the actual code into this app service. Um, so this is to kind of overcome that issue. Um, uh, otherwise, we would usually, or I will go into details on how we can set the environment variables. So this is basically going to be setting an environment variable, uh, and we, we will go through this separately in another video. Now that we've, of course, um, created and or defined our resources, we need to populate our bicep parameter file. So if we head back over to GitHub and we click on the example that I created earlier, so we can copy these parameters. And we can then, uh, so we'll leave the location of the UK South, we'll leave the SKU as free, and we'll just say node chess service plan. And we'll just say node chess express app. Save that. We'll save that. And we'll also save this 